Alright, what's up guys? Blue here. Today I'm going to be doing a floppy disk tutorial in Computercraft. Um, this is 1.4.5. I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video, but I did just upgrade to 1.4.5 and install Computercraft only to do these tutorials. So, um, yeah, so these are the crafting re recipes. Um, this is a disk drive. It's just stone. You now get your disk drive. Just make another one. Okay. The next one is a computer. I know um, all these tutorials involve computers. I just never showed you the built one. That's how you make that. And then this is how you make the floppy disk, which you need um, for the disk drive. It's just the paper and redstone. Okay, guys. So what you're gonna want to do is put your floppy disk either right, left, up, or down adjacent to the computer. You cannot put it on the front though. So you can either put it to the left or right, up, or down, on the back. Just not in front of it. And right click it and put your floppy disk in it. As you can see a green light will pop up. And then um, go on your computer and type in CD disk. And now that brings you to the directory of your disk. If you type in dir, nothing will come up. Now let's say you want to get back to your computer files, just type in CD slash. Space slash. And that'll bring you back. And to check it that your disk is working, just type in dir. dir. And then as you can see you'll see disk, ROM, and lock. And lock is just a, a password lock that I'm going to use for the tutorial later on. So, so we're going to type in CD disk, and now we're in the directory for our disk again. Now we can just simply use this like a regular computer, edit, um, edit startup, and this will be the startup of, of the disk. So yeah, I'm just going to do a simple, a simple. A um, little code. Term not clear. Term dot set cursor. Oh. Okay. Right. This is the start up of a floppy disk. Okay, so that's our program. Control save. Control exit. Now we just basically made, if we type in dirt, a start program for our disk. So now if we restart our computer and the disk is still in the disk drive and is connected to the computer, um, it will actually run the disk startup since it since the computer started up with the disk in it. So what that means, if I do cd slash, even though we do not have a, a proper startup file for the computer, as long as there's a startup file on the disk and it is connected to the computer, it will run that startup. So as you can see, if we control S, which shuts on the computer, and then we restart it, as you can see, this is a startup of a floppy disk. That was the startup file of our floppy disk. Now as you can see, if we hit control S, we take out the floppy disk. And we turn off our, we turn on our computer. Since our actual computer does not have a startup, it will not run a startup. It will just go to Craft OS 1.4. So um, that's just a little neat trick. Let's say um, you put in your disk and you put your um your password lock on it. Basically, once you destroy the um the password lock will be on the disk now. So you can destroy the computer, but as long as you have the disk, it will um use the disk password lock on the computer actually so you don't have to keep on retyping your code if you break your computer or anything like that so it's really handy I'm just going to show you how to copy programs from the computer onto your disk just in case you want to do that so um, what you do is just type in copy sorry about that copy space the name of your program mine is called lock as I said before in space and disk slash and now this is the new name of the program that's going to be on your disk I'll just put password actually I'll put it to um, startup actually I'll just name it lock again and then hit enter and now if we do CD disk and we type in dir as you can see the lock program is now on our CD disk or our floppy disk as you can see if I type in lock Please enter passcode. Ooh, bro. Attempt today. Access granted. So that's basically how to use um 
this with the password lock, or you can use this for any type of program, but that's just how to copy stuff. Thanks for watching guys, um, it's been Blue here, I hope you enjoyed this. I will make a follow-up tutorial with more, with more commands on the floppy disk and other stuff like that. I'll try to be getting into advanced computers, but I don't know when. Um, and also in the next tutorial I'll show you how to make all these different colors of this. So you can see there's a black one, red one, green one. There's a whole bunch of colors, so. Thanks for watching guys. Um, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more computer craft tutorials. It's been Blue here, and I'm out.